Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at substitution. In this video, we'll be looking at how to do substitution, example questions and exam questions. How to do substitution. With substitution, there's no formula on how to do it, but there is a structure and there is a way on how to do substitution. First, you're given the formula in the question. The formulas will always vary in your questions. Then numbers will be given. For example, they will give you a formula and they will tell you that m is equal to 4. And then you substitute in the values into the formula, then you write the result. Sometimes they want you to rearrange the formula to get a certain number. But this type of question will always have the numbers to substitute. Substitution questions will always give you the value of at least one or two letters, depending on how long the formula is. Example question. Here's your formula. L equals 9M plus 2N. Work out the value of L when M is equal to 3 and N is equal to minus 6. First, you write the numbers into brackets, so it will become L equals 9 times 3 plus 2 times minus 6. Next, you write the numbers without the brackets, which means you expand the brackets, so that becomes L equals 27 minus 12. And then you solve for the value of L. So 27 minus 12 is equal to 15, which means that the value of L is 15. Now we're going to look at the first exam question. Here are the values A equals 8, B equals minus 5, and C equals 2. Work out the value of b squared plus 4ac. First, you write the numbers in brackets. So it would be minus 5 in bracket squared plus 4 times 8 times 2. Next, you write the formula without the brackets, which means that you expand the brackets. And you'll get 25 plus 64. Then you solve for the value of b squared plus 4ac and then you'll do b squared plus 4ac is equal to 89. So the value of b squared plus 4ac is 89. Now we're going to look at the second exam question. Given that y is equal to 4x minus 3, Work out the value of x when y is equal to 11. So this is a type of questions where you have to rearrange the formula in order to get the value of a letter. So here we need to get the value of x and we already know what y is equal to. So first you input in the given values. So it will be 11 equals 4x minus 3. Next, you add 3 to both sides to get the x power on the x value on its own. So it will become 14 equals 4x. And then you divide both sides by 4 to get the value of x. So 3.75 equals x. So the value of x is 3.75. I hope you found this video useful, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons for more content from this channel and please feel free to share, thank you for watching.